friends in this video I am going to explain about the file class which is in Java so file is a standard class in Java and by using this file class properties or the standard methods which are available in the file class we can get the properties of the file for example we can check that the file is really existing or not the file is readable writable executable and what about the usable space free space and what is the path of the file and all those related steps so to demonstrate that i have a class called file demo.java which has main method now in my desktop you can see in the desktop i have a file called sample.txt so i am going to get the information of this file it is located in the path you can see users username slash desktop so i'm just copying it the first step we have to do is create a file object as i told you that it is a standard class and now you can see that it is the package java.io the related packages autom automatically imported through this that means now we can declare some reference variable f equal new file so here we can see different types of constructors are there i am going to illustrate with the first constructor that is we are going to give the path name of our file which is located in the desktop called sample.txt the second one we need, we have to create a uri object that points to that particular file third one means here the first argument for example slash users slash username slash desktop that is the parent path and followed by the file name your file name is sample.txt with the double quotes like that you can do so and here also the fourth one is similar to the third one the fourth the third one we need a file object that holds to desktop folder the whole path if it mentioned within double quotes in the first argument then here it forms the string parent and gives the child name that is your sample.txt okay for simplicity i am taking the first one and here we have to mention the path user slash write slash desktop slash your file name is sample.txt now so this is the file which we are offering sample.txt you can i'm going to just open the file by using the editor uh, wrangler text wrangler okay, this is the file now we are going to check whether this file is existing or not system to output printer huh? for that yeah, i'm going to put some user friendly message this the file the file exists in a better way we can say that that's the file uh, which one sample dot text exist or not for that we have a method called f dot exist we can see that this exist method returns either true or false based on the availability and now we are going to run it you can see that the file is existing true and here now i am going to change the file name sample.txt to sample2.txt and now we are going to see you can see that there is no such file in this path now we are going to check the status we can see that now it is giving false hope that you might have understood
let's check uh, about what is the use of exist to check whether the file is existing in that path or not so now if i change to the old one you can see that it is existing now we are going to check whether it is readable writable executable or not system to output blender line file readable for that if dot there is a method called can read now i am going to write you can see that by default it is shown true now i suppose i don't want to read then i want to uh, prevent that read operation for that i am going to open this editor text wrangler which contains my file sample text you can see that now there is an option called view get info you can see information permissions and text in the text you can see there are 21 characters five words you can count it is so it is composed of 21 characters and five words are there and one line so it is a very good editor to see all these things and permissions you can see that the owner is bright now the um, i have logged in by using this one and now i am going to remove this read i'm going to save it and let me close it close this now I'm going to run it again. You can see that now I cannot read it. So let us check it. So I'm taking the file explorer. Here you can see that sample.txt. I'm going to open again with text random. You can see that you don't have permission to open the document sample.txt. Now again if I want to open this i have to go to the properties of the file that is the get information and here you can see the sharing and permissions here you can see write me i can perform only write only i cannot perform any read operation so what i have to do is write only means i can write some data in the file i can uh, get the reference of this file by using some standard class in Java, for example, file writer, then I can put the data into the file. Okay, we are not going to that part. Instead of that, go for read and write. Now you can see even it is showing the preview. And close it. You can see that now it is showing files. Now I am going to run again now it shows that true like that we can check whether it is writable or not for that system dot out dot print and then file writable f dot can write as in as you have seen that we can perform right operation we expect the value to suppose you want to change it right we'll open our file now get the information of this file regarding the right and suppose i'm going to remove it now save it Now, if I want to perform some write operation, I can. Okay, I am going to type some letters. Just give me some. Then I have to say make write up only. Then I can do it. I am going to now close it. So now it shows writeable is true. Now I am going to. Now it shows that writeable is false. So if again I want to make it writeable change the property and say that right and save now 
we can check that whether it is executed for that system dot output printer now file so executable means you may think that okay it may end with some exe file or some other uh, runnable file extensions it is not like that i should f dot can execute now by default it gives it is false if you want to change it get the properties of the file and here we have to say that save now it shows that it is true now suppose i am going to remove the read write reverse Save. We can perform the right operation. Now we are going to check. Are we able to open it for read mode for that? Open text handler. So what it is again go to the get info. Let it change. Read and write. Now you can see that. Now there is option that we can change its permission to 000, no read write, then absolutely it cannot be executed. So like that if you are in this we can try like that. Now how to get the path of the file for that system dot out of file path is for that f dot get path it gives the path of the file this is that path so whatever you are mentioned here that will be common you can see that slash uses write slash desktop slash sample load txt so if I want I can do like this dot dot means current directory like that I can do it then it shows that sample dot txt you can see that the dot also can. suppose you want to resolve such type of things maybe you may uh, put single dot double dot means go to the parent directory so to resolve all those things we have a method called get canonical path for that resolve path is you can say that f dot get canonical path so at that time uh, it may throw an uh, exception called io exception it is a standard exception in java which is in the package java.io and again it is a checked exception so we have to put this in a try catch we will see that exception Now I am going to run the file. You can see that here 
when you call the get path it shows the embedded dot also which you mentioned here you can see that so when you call get canonical path that, that will resolve that embedded white space sorry it will resolve that embedded dot you may put some single dot or double dots all those things it will be resolved single dot means current direct like that and there is something called get absolute path here the full path is absolute path means the full path someday you may not do the full path for example i am going to create a new file object like this new file and i am going to say that some uh, file called demo.txt then you should know where this file may be so when you say the demo.txt so far we did not create the file demo.txt so we are going to check first of all whether this file is existing or not and we proceed we say that demo.txt is available or not for that we have to do exist you can see that it will give the value false but where it is pointing for that you can call the method the path absolute path absolute path is f2 dot get absolute path so where it is pointing See here we did not mention anything. Then what does where it where does it point? We are going to see that it is pointing in this location. You can see bright Nepis project file demo that is your project name in the model text. But the file is not existing there. But it is pointing in that directory. So suppose you are typing in this file in a notebook. Then if you are typing the if you are typing like this. without any uh, path name just file name alone it shows that this demo.txt is available in your source directory fine if i call just get path what happens we are going to see that path e get path it will show the difference between absolute path and just get path suppose you want to create that file so let us create a file create a new file <coughs> that is we are going to create the file called demo.txt so let me run this once again <coughs> you should know where it is created you can see in this location we are targeting so let me take it go to my computer users you can see that users slash write slash netbeans project uh, slash file demo so here only we are targeting but right now we can see that there is no such file called demo.txt in this location now if you want to create that file a new file called demo.txt <coughs> there is a standard method to do it for that using the file object you have to call the method create new file and again this it, it throws an exception called io exception so we have to handle the exception if it fails to create suppose you are saying that you want to create this new file in the root directory of your uh, operating system for example unix or uh, mac then it throws an exception where the write operation is denied then it throws that io exception so i'm putting like this so here i'm going to say that system.out.println 
ex so it will show if any exception happens and the create new file it is a boolean method so we can check like this system dot out dot println say that demo.txt is created now we are going to check it. run the file you can see that it is returning the value true it shows that it is created now let us check that we can see that in this location demo.txt file is created suppose I am going to say that slash so here sorry <coughs> this slash so here it shows that in the root directory we are targeting to the root directory we first we are checking in the root directory whether it is existing or not no then finding the absolute path get path then we are going to check whether it is created or not so let me run it now we can see that the path is slash demo.txt but here it shows the java io exception is coming permission is denied so from this you might have understood when this line is executed it throws the exception called io exception stating that permission is denied so don't give like that now it shows that your uh, file is created now here you can see that now it is giving false because already we had the file here the mode.txt so whenever when you call the method create new file first it checks that the file is existing in this current directory or the directory to which you are pointing if it doesn't exist only then that file is created and it returns the boolean value true so if the file is already available there then the create new file doesn't create recreate that file so it returns the boolean value false that is why now here it, it is showing the value false now there are few more methods that we are going to explore now by using the file i am going to take the file again the first one file that is the sample.txt f dot uh, there is a method called get free space it returns the free space in bytes free space yes so i am going to run the file you can see that the free space free space is 113 113 gb you can see that uh, up to here kb then uh, up to here mb you can see that then up to here you can see that 113 gb is free free space is available this may vary the next time when i run it you can see that little variation may come so don't bother about that uh, i will show you that go to the my computer and take its properties and here you can see that the available is 113 GB now you might have understood and even though we have this free space this uh, whole free space may not be usable only to some uh, some uh, some space is uh, we cannot use it for example we cannot write some data into the root directory so some places it is prohibited so if we want to get the usable space we have a standard method that we are going to see now the usable space is f dot get usable space you can see that there is a difference between get free space and the get usable space values see that 
So even though this much is a free space, we can use only this much space. Some space is prohibited from the usage. So these are the methods we explored, can execute, can read, can write, create new file and there is uh, and also we checked access, get absolute path, get canonical path and get the name, get the name we didn't check it. So we, if we want we can check the name also. For example, get the name of the file. F dot get name. So this one only we are target. Now I am going to run it. You can see that the name of the file is sampler text. Here it doesn't show the path. You can see that get path means the where it is locating along with the file name it comes. But get name means it will give only the name. Now there are there is a method called delete and delete on exit. You can see that f dot delete and delete on exit. There is a difference between delete and delete on exit. Delete means the moment that particular line is executed, the file will be removed from the memory. Delete on exit means it will not be immediately removed from the memory. It gives a it generates a request to delete that file, but and when that file will be actually deleted is once that function returns we can see that the file is removed you can see that invoking this method to delete a file or directory is already raised for deletion has no effect deletion will be attempted only for normal termination of the virtual machine as defined by the java language specification so once it returns the file will be no more in the memory so i will show that uh, for that first of all i am going to check with, we are going to check with delete on exit and after executing this we are going to check again the file is existing or not sample.txt is existing or not so for that we are going to use again f dot access method so here itself the file is ex deleted then we can say that immediately it is removed you can see that it returns true you can see that existing yes the file is existing but whether the file is actually existing or not we are going to check it desktop you can see that there is no more sample dot txt so now let me create that file once again sample.txt in the desktop close it Now we are going to use delete method. The delete method returns a boolean value, so we can put it within this uh, println method. Delete sample dot txt. So we will say that f dot delete. You can see that here it returns true value and here it comes false because immediately it will be deleted you can see that delete yes it is existing no we will check that you can see that there is no more sample dot text so these are the things which we explored regarding the file class so file is a standard class in the package java.io so these are the methods we explored whether the file is existing or not 
whether it is readable, writable, executable, get path, get canonical path, then get absolute path, get path, create new file which can create a file if the file is not existing, which is pointed by that file pointer, then free space and in the free space how much we can use it that is by using the get usable space and to get the name of the file alone get name and delete on exit the delete on exit it doesn't delete the file immediately once it terminates that is once it returns and it's a function returns then it will be deleted but f to delete means immediately it will be deleted that's all for the file. Thank you for watching this.